Okay, here we go. Um, to get started on this project, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to open up Visual Studio. So go under All Programs, uh, and you can see if you take a look, Visual Studio there. We want to start up Visual Studio 2013. Now this may take a minute to upload. Um, by default, I have my settings set to C Sharp, which looks like C in a hashtag. Um, and so when we open up this interface and I go up to File, New, Project, it's going to give me options that are within that C Sharp range. So you can see right here what we want to build today is we want to build a Windows form application, but you can see by default I'm set to Visual C Sharp. Okay, now what you're going to want to do though, you're going to want to save uh, that file name in this project to somewhere in your C drive. So ideally we'll go to C drive, users, find our username, and maybe make a new folder. And I'm going to call this Visual Studio Projects. Uh, and I'm just going to select that folder and we should be good to go there. And so it's going to save that Windows Forms application 1. Um, you can name that maybe assignment 1 or something like that. Um, and so maybe I'll call this assignment 1. Maybe we'll go last name, first name, assignment 1. So Morrison Nevin assignment one. And we'll get started there. So we have our new project built here as it loads up. Um, once it's loaded here, we want to resize that form, that original form for the application that we're building. We're going to build a simple calculator. Um, and so we're going to resize that form. Okay. Take note that there's a properties kind of window down over here that we're going to be using in a minute. Okay. And you can see the name of this is actually Form 1. Um, we'll actually leave that for now. Now the next thing that we're going to add is we're actually going to add um, a couple text boxes. So we want to click to the left hand side here on this toolbox. And inside this we're going to search actually for text box. Okay, and so uh, just typing in text there, I can see I have a text box. So I'm going to drag and drop just a text box on there. And you can see that that's in place there. Okay, so that's our first element in our GUI or graphical user interface. Now, what you're going to do from here is we're going to actually rename that though. Okay, and so we'll go down to that properties window again where it says name. We're going to type in here, we're going to call it TXT. We call it text number one. And we're just going to leave that as is, as text number one. We're going to leave it blank. We're going to have nothing in there. Okay? And then we're just going to go back up over here to the toolbox. We're going to grab another text box and drag that on. And same kind of thing. We're going to rename this one here under the properties. Make sure it's selected. Text number two and we'll kind of add that there. Okay, so these two text boxes are going to be kind of placeholders for us um, for adding in numbers. We're going to add two numbers that we're going to put into there. Um, the next thing that we're going to add is where the answer is going to be shown. We're just going to use a label for that. So go back up to the toolbox here. This time we're going to search uh, label and again gr drag and drop a label onto the screen there. You can see that's in place. Um, I'm going to go back down to the properties here and I'm going to call this label LBL answer. You can notice when I name things uh, that I start the first letter of the first kind of word or prefix I'm using as a lowercase and then every word after that I capitalize the first letter. That's just kind of a coding convention uh, that is pretty typical um, to be used. It doesn't have to be used but is something a lot of programmers use. So what you're going to do now is we're going to change that label though. Just for now we're going to rename its text property. I'm going to rename that text property to answer. Okay, and we're not going to do any other formatting in here. There's lots of other properties we could just set within there. Um, but for now we're just going to label that answer. OK, 
Okay. Uh, the last thing that we're going to add to this GUI uh, of this simple application we're going to build is we're going to add in a button. So let me go back up to the toolbox. I'm going to start typing button, and you can see button comes up right away. We're going to add a button in here, and this button I can notice I can resize just like other programs. Um, and again, I'm going to rename the button. I'm going to call this button button calculate. And then I'm going to just scroll on down here, and I'm actually going to change its text property to calculate. Good enough. Okay, and so you can see now we have this kind of user interface set up. We're going to have a place here where we can add a button, or a number, sorry, add another number. Okay, we're going to be able to press this button, and we're going to get an answer here in the kind of next step. Um, but that's all for right now.